jump. Okay, the jump is we usually we do not talk about the speed velocity, the, the fast or slow. We do not talk about it unless in certain condition. For the jump, we only talk about weak or strong. That's the term we use all the time. Is it as strength? Is weak? Is uh, or or just strong or too strong or too weak? Like what is it? Normal strength relative to each person's air yeah, constitution. So there's no normal force. <laughs> Determine pre a presence of heat, ac acute inflammation and pain or something. That's <coughs> if the pulse is strong, that's good because a human body should have this normal strength. But it's too strong, we call it expanding or swelling. Or if it's too weak, weak we call it, sometimes we use the word empty to describe the pulse. The pulse is disappeared. Like the <coughs> previous one, the liver area, the, the right one is concaved, and sometimes it's empty. I write down on my uh, evaluation sheet that says, empty. That means he has no energy for for his body. Like, a, like, like the car, the horsepower is zero. So he must be tired all the time or something. Too strong, it can be expanding. Everything is just like a balloon with too much air in there. And this can be uh, dangerous for something. Like sometimes combined with high blood pressure or whatever, or strong inflammation. For, and for the treatment, it's the same principle. We do it mechanically. For expanding things, we shrink it back. For the empty stuff, we tonify it, make it stronger. And that's how we use me medicine with herbs. And that should be also adaptable for your uh, acupuncture uh, prescription, right? So most of the time we, we talk about strong or weak. That's easy, only two words. Hmm? Okay. This one. Is what considered strong or weak or both? Yeah, it, it, it can happen. Also, it's, uh, it's very commonly seen that pulse can be very strong on the surface, it can be disappear on the, uh, when you when you press down a little bit. So that's why, well, what, that's what I said, don't hold your fingers, let go. If you hold it all the time, and you've, not only your fingertips turn white, the patient's skin turn white and got depressed too. So you must let go to find it, because the, sometimes the superficial area and the <coughs> deep area, the pulse might not be the same. It is very possible. You ask question of some fish, some so you ask it? Okay. That this really happen, and it can do it. It can happen reversely. I mean, uh, vice versa. It can be very, very weak on the twin, and can be solid. I mean, very weak on the surface, and can be strong when you press down a little bit. The rebound becomes stronger, or the rebound can be can become weaker when you press down. So you should press down and let go. Press down, let go. Press down, let go. That's how. We do pulse diagnosis. Don't hold it all the time. And can move. Let's try it again. Okay. Press down. First, you touch gently. I just developed, discovered a pulse. I call it a UFO pulse. It's floating in the air. Like, um, okay, this is the pulse. Normally, it should have a shape and a strength. But UFO is something here, floating in the midair. And it's so weak, like you, piece, uh, you put a piece of a cotton on the surface of the water. It's so weak, no support under it. So weak in the, in, the, in the surface, and when you press down a little bit, press down a little bit, it becomes stronger and stronger. You let go, and it's still there. So the skill of taking a pause is, touch, this is skin, okay, for example, this is skin. You touch it very lightly, gently, move it, get you some feelings. Uh, from your fingers, and uh, you start pressing harder, 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 harder. Let go, and harder, 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 and let go. Don't ever hold it like this, okay? From light, and down, 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 and let go, and down, 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 <coughs> let go, okay? Ah, UFO. I just discovered it not too long ago. It's very interesting. It's just flowing in the air, so weak and so ah, uh, so what? So weak. Theoretically, that's a dead pause of lung. 
So that's, sometimes it means lung cancer. But I have patients with that, not uh, cancer or something. This, this, that represents extreme, extreme weakness. Okay? So the, what I'm trying to tell you is that you have to keep your finger very light on the skin. Gently, gently. And push down, let go. Push down, let go. Okay. Is the pulse considered strong? Huh? Same thing. Impedance of blood flow with blood vessels. Resistant, yes. <coughs> hmm. Sometimes I use the word muddy to describe the, uh, the pulse. That means you're like touching a bunch of uh, mud. Nothing is moving, like a dead water or something. Amplitude, this is very, very important. Huh? <coughs> Magnitude at which blood vessel expands. Just like this. When you, <coughs> the, the, um, the, the hard punch, a whole bunch of blood through the vessel, it moves fast to your, from the heart to here, and it gives you a little expanding condition. So that's how we, fingers was pushed upwards like this. Actually expands inside and our fingers got pushed upward. This is what we call jump. Okay? But the, the amplitude of the jump can be quite different. Sometimes it's just a little bit. Sometimes boom, 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 boom. Next time, when you see a patient with high blood pressure and with a fast heartbeat rate, and maybe he's not taking medication, the blood pressure can be 150, 160, and the heartbeat rate can be 90 or even 100. You can definitely see a pause with a great big amplitude. And that means it's expanding. Boom, 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 boom. That's a very dangerous condition. And next time, when you see a little young lady patient, her blood pressure is 90 over 50, and the heartbeat rate is less than 60, the, he, he, her pulse might be with a very low amplitude. It's like this, not jumping. Nothing is pushing. The heart is so weak, it's not pushing the blood through the vessels. It has no power to lift your fingertips. So your fingertips are feeling this small movement. So the amplitude means a lot. Huh? High amplitude, more heat, low amplitude, stagnation. And also it happens for people with high blood pressure, but heartbeat rate is low, and this can happen. That means more stagnant than fire. Sometimes we have to uh, <coughs> judge, justify the proportion of fire and stagnation. Or stagnation always combines with dampness or something. That two category has to be measured because we have to use medicine. Or <coughs> because when I use herbs, I'll be using some combination of uh, at least two formulas and several single herbs to enhance the, a certain purpose. So I put them all together in a bottle. And when we take that, put things in the bottle, I have to make, my, make up my mind what proportion I use. For example, if the, the guy with the problem with this very low amplitude, his blood pressure is high, 150 or something, but his blood vessel moves like this. Boop, boop, boop. Not like this. Like this, a little bit. So I'll know that he has more stagnation than heat. So I'll be using more blood movers instead of more heat clearing medicine. That's the proportion I always have to consider to put into the bar, uh, in a jar, in a bottle. Okay? So you have to justify. <coughs> you have to write down, oh, Fire more than stagnation, or st on your uh, history, uh, stagnation is more than fire. Then you do the prescription combination. Okay. Yeah, more fire, more fun, more flex, more fun. Six flex. <coughs> Okay, so we have to decide what part we use. Huh? What, 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 what the, uh, the, like we, we decide in the uh, treatment uh, plan. Okay, any questions so far? Oh, Tilly. I plug, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this deficiency, like I said, you can, you can definitely tell, that's easy. You can definitely tell this condition by using a blood pressure gauge. You take the blood pressure first, 
then you uh, you can decide what condition this patient is. If you have a blood pressure gauge at your desk on your desk, if you don't, that's no good. You must have one because there's a problem we call invisible high blood pressure, and this can be extremely high. Sometimes I miss it too. Not not to say those. Uh, <clears throat> Those doctors don't pay much attention, don't pay too much attention to the patients. The pulse can be very weak and slow, and uh, with low amplitude, whatever. Everything, all the signs will show you that he's in a weak condition. And the patient's main complaint can be fatigue. Doctor, I'm so tired. And you will naturally, automatically give him something to tonify his energy, like Sichuan Da Bu. Or Bu Zhong Yi Qi something. Actually, he is suffering from a kidney type of high blood pressure. The blood pressure can be over 200 without any symptoms, without any discomfort. You will ask, hey, how do you feel? Nothing. I don't feel anything. But the blood pressure is sky high. At that time, if you give him some Si Quan Da Bu or something, then you and him will both be in big trouble. Huh? Okay. <coughs> so, you have to take the blood pressure for, for evaluation. Okay. Oh. Okay. As for the speed, uh, if it's for thyroid function, then we don't need to discuss it. Nervous tension level, if the fast is something, determines the excess abscess. If the pulse becomes fast, for example, the patient has been seeing you for a week or weeks or something, his pulse has already been uh, has I mean always be uh, normal with the heartbeat rate. 70 or 60. Suddenly, today is 80, 100. Then there's got to be some fever or some abscess inside. Like in the tonsil and anywhere. Or in the uh, uh, like hemorrhoid, the, the fistula or something. So, in this case, they will have fever and fast pulse. That's why, that's the time we put little attention to it. Otherwise, we don't, I don't really care about this stuff. Huh? And, and this is the terrible condition. MSG, too much, caffeine, too much, the pause not necessarily, let me tell you this, one. caffeine, a poisoning condition. How do, the, the, the pause can be very floating, weak, and fast. That's it. That, that's, that's a combination, uh, huh? MSG and caffeine both? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want to test yourself, you can drink seven Cokes, <laughs> five cans of Cokes or some Chinese soup or something with the MSG like a Korean barbecue or something with the, with the strong sauces, you get this pause. You, you might get a little bit of headaches and something and blood pressure will go up. Floating fast and weak. Floating actually this should be the right twin. You can detect it directly from the right twin like a more superficial condition but it's fast but it's weak. What does it mean floating and weak? Fast is easily understand. But how do we know this floating and weak? That means the pulse is in okay, like this. For for the Okay, this is the truth. It's fast. Okay, it's fast. And this is fast, it's floating very close to the surface, and it's weak. If we push down a little bit, it just disappear, like no rebound from underneath. Can you understand it? You pro you okay. Come down. What do you mean, come down? Want to do it one more time? Okay, man. Okay, let's do it again. This is a chun. Mostly it's right chun, okay? The right chun is floating and jumping fast like this. Boom, 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 boom. And when you press down a little bit, it just disappears. Just collapse. When you let go and it, it come back. It comes back and jump in. And when you touch it, it disappears. If you don't mind it, it would be like this. Boom, 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 boom. That must be the caffeine too much caffeine, too much coke, whatever, anything that contains caffeine, including Chinese MSG or something. 
or some medicine will cause that effects too. Huh? It's very bad. You get a lot of dizziness, headaches, and everything. So we do it, we clear it down, and we, we try to find out the reason for that, and we do the uh, treatment accordingly. But this is very interesting. Huh? This, this pulse can be very, most of the time, the pulse can be hard and, uh, and solid for a strong person with a strong infection. And the abscess is hot, and the fever is hot, and, uh, and, and the pulse is so jumpy. We use something for the abscess, we have the Zhenzhen Huoming, or something like that. It's very interesting. Okay? Yeah? The question was, what medicines causes the pulse? So you, um, you were talking about the floating fast and weak. Oh, this one? Yeah. Some kind of uh, thyroid. Yeah, for the thyroid function. Mostly, yeah. Thyroid will cause that. And uh, definitely hormone. Estrogen. That's it. Est uh, estrogen, progesterone, something like that. Oh, only on the right chun. Oh, for the you know you were showing the MSG. You say it was only on the is it only on the right chun? It's, no, on it's not only on the right chun. It's on all the positions, but the most uh, easily found because we take the right chun first, right? So, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's. We can detect that condition easily on the right sun. So no need to go the other places. The right sun will show you everything. And also, let me tell you one more thing about the, uh, the this one. What was it? The weekend, uh, weekend floating, uh, this stuff. And also this combined with a condition they call gu. We have a gu ma inside. We can create this gu ma by doing what? You guys in, the, uh, in your computer room, you can get up and walk around the room or jump up and down, whatever, and sit down suddenly, rapidly, check your pulse, immediately, I mean. After you jump and run for a few seconds, you sit down and check your pulse. You will see a gu mai. The pulse goes up and down. The strength is equally strong, up and down, up and down. If this up and down doesn't go away in a few minutes, that means your heart is suffering from a little bit of problem, like output or what. And uh, when you have caffeine, something like that, you will have this, we call it gu mai, up and down feedings. You can try it when we take the break, okay?